for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to put the bell icon and watch latest videos and study related videos in this channel the road not taken two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth in this stanza the poet says that in a jungle there were two roads both roads go in different directions as the poet has used the term yellow wood it seems that the leaves have turned lifeless and yellow depicting autumn the poet feels sorry because he alone cannot travel on both roads the roads could symbolize two choices in life and the poet is finding it difficult to make a choice so he being a traveler stood there for a long time determining which way to continue traveling as he was thinking he noticed that one of the roads bent in the trees and shrubs and finally disappeared then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same after seeing that one of the roads disappeared into the undergrowth the poet decides to take the other road as just as fair can have multiple meanings perhaps the poet wants to say that the road is beautiful as well or the poet wants to be fair and choose the correct option hence selecting between two roads may portray the selection between two destinies the poet then describes that maybe this road is better because it has fresh grass grown on it and was not used much but when he started traveling on it he found that travelers have passed through this road just as much as the other in these lines we can observe how the poet quickly goes back to his statement first he says this road is untraveled then as he walks finds it equally traveled also the poet says that the path wanted wear a path cannot have a desire or want to wear only humans have want thus the poetic device personification is used here in personification a thing an idea or an animal is given human qualities here the path is personified and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back here the poet says that both the roads were covered with leaves that morning and perhaps that morning he was the first to travel on that road as the leaves fallen on the road had not turned black by the steps of travelers however it seems that he regrets his decision slightly wondering if he will ever get to come back and take the other road i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference years from now somewhere in the future the poet feels that he will look back and then decide whether the choice he made was the correct one or not this may be indicating that making a choice out of two objectives 
is responsible for our future and that makes all the difference. The choice may bring us right or wrong. He will be telling about his choice with a sigh. Sigh is releasing a deep breath, expressing happiness, relief, sadness, etc. So, if the choice proves out to be right, it will be a sigh of happiness or relief. And if the choice is wrong, it will be a sigh of disappointment. If you feel this uh, video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any query and uh, for more points, comment down below and I will make a video. So, if, so like this video and don't forget to subscribe. So subscribe now.